Welcome to this channel. This channel is for education and culture based on historical and scientific evidence. So in the previous few videos, I have shared on the uh, body conditioning of the ancient 1850s Wing Chun, the short strike Wing Chun. And uh, so now you can see that there are five level of uh, transportation training, three level of internal training. Those are how one train their body or condition their body. <laughs> and uh, in one of the video, I have said that uh, today, Wing Chun have lost the uh, uniqueness and the training of the ancient Wing Chun. And many of our Wing Chun friends send me messages asking me, could I share on or provide evidence on why is today's Wing Chun have lost the uniqueness and the key of the ancient Wing Chun. So today I'm going to share with you on the fighting part of the 1850s or the ancient Wing Chun. So with the five level of uh, transportations and three level of the internal training, which is the body condition part, you can see that from the body condition and the fighting application part, today's Wing Chun really do not have much uh, link to what the ancient is practiced. Now saying this, I'm not saying that I'm the grandmaster or I know it all. I would like you to watch this video thinking that you are in a Asian art or culture class in the university. My job is just to share with you what is going on. Got nothing to do with uh, whose lineage is the best, who is the grandmaster. It has only to do with by evidence what is happening. So if you take my video channel as a, a class like uh, in the university on Asian study, like comparing culture, comparing uh, different uh, practice, then you can clearly see what is going on instead of getting into those past 120 years of mass, which is always about grandmaster, talk with hand, not talk with mouth, all sort of stuff, which is off topic. Now we want to get into technical topic of what is Wing Chun. Now, I'm going to share with you many things today. And uh, the notions, my agenda is like the Bodhidharma teaching the Zen. Don't cheat ourselves, don't cheat others, don't get cheated by others. You have to keep honest. The second thing is it is a Buddhist art is not provoking fighting. So what I'm going to share with you, I openly share with you what it is, but never use this kind of thing to hurt other people or bully other people. One can investigate into this, what I'm sharing you, because there's a uniqueness of Wing Chun. But it is not for promoting violence. Like in the past 120 years, this is promoting violence. You look at all this news in Asia. Those are not Wing Chun in the ancient. 
those are violence and bullying like a cult so this is like university class we go through things but we have to have the 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 the, the uh the consensus and the proper mind to to look at what is what and of course knowing this also mean that Wing Chun can stand up tall because Wing Chun is a technology. Wing Chun is not what Xi Xiaodong said. Wing Chun is not what other people said because they don't know what is Wing Chun. So let's begin. So in the past time, we talked about the five level of transportation trainings and internal training. If you don't have that, you don't have it. That means loss. Your Xiu Lim Tao do not be able to develop that. That is called loss. Okay. Now, today we talk about fighting. In fighting, today's Wing Chun commonly do two things in general. One is you stand square, like this wooden dummy stuff. You scan the opponents like that. You stand square. And then the idea is the closest between two points is a straight line. Square, striking with both hands like this and all these hand techniques. Well, the ancient don't do that. Why? Everybody know that the closest between two points is a straight line. However, fighting in the straight line depends on speed and momentum. Okay? And once you get into the competitions of speed the, or the race of speed and momentum, The one who is faster and stronger have more momentum inputs win. So the pathway of thinking that the closest between two points is a straight line is logically sounds good, but in a real life, you need to know who is on the other side of the game okay so if you have a square body you think that Wing Chun is only go straight like that that is not what the ancient practice that is not what the ancient mean when it come to Wing Chun now I'm going to share with you what is Wing Chun, what is defined, it's well defined. So the first thing is, the closest between two points is a straight line, and you want to machine gun this thing down. This is today's Wing Chun, okay, or 1960s Wing Chun. That's not what the ancient practice. The second practice of today's Wing Chun in general would be, this is the hand, this is both hand, like uh, if this leg is here, this is leg here, uh, this hand here, this hand is here. One keeping move away from this hand and strike. Move away from this hand and strike. Okay? So that the second type, the first type is the, the closest between two points is a straight line. You're just punching like that, like try to bulldoze him. The second is you move, you try to avoid this hand and strike here. Move away from this hand, strike. Move away from him, this hand, strike. This is too tight. And the ancient don't do this too. Move away from this and strike. Move away from this and strike. Why? Because the ancient Wing Chun is a short strike art. When the opponent or in the general, in the long fist zone. I'm the opponent here. 
That is a line of fire from me to the target, a line of fire. And in this line of fire, as soon as one is within 45 degrees like that, one can get hit. Why? The line of fire is like this. If you move that, still I can get hit from that. So for example, I hit, I, I strike you this way. You can move that way and you still get, get, get struck because this is a line of fire at within this angle, you are still in the dangerous zone. Okay. So you can move around here, you still can get struck. Now I can move around here and strike, but he can strike me too. Not to mention that when he strike, I move away and strike, I have already lost one count in my timing. Okay. So the ancient don't do this type of thing. The ancient also don't do this type of thing. And one of the common denominator on these two type of fighting in the, in, uh, in the modern Wing Chun is that it stands this far away. Wing Chun ancient is a sitting body short strike. Wing Chun don't do that. So now, again, in the, the closest between two points is the straight line mean that uh, you want to compete speed and momentum or exchange. The idea of moving away is you're still in the line of fire of the opponent. And are you going to compete speed and momentum? Now, when you move away, you do not disable him. That's why if I strike you like that, you move that way. If I strike you that way, you move that way. I can strike you because my body is not jammed or blocked in any way. Okay? So this is the two thing which is the ancient they never want to do. If you do strike and you move that way, that is just still in the war zone. Not to say that you move away, you are targeted for the kick because you are in a long fist zone. Now, so what is ancient Wing Chun? Well, if you really understand Cantonese, understand the saying of Wing Chun, Wing Chun is still there. The concept is still there. The issue is people repeat the concept but do not know what it is. That's why they fighting this way. The, the, the closest between two points is a straight line. Or I go move outside from his hand. I move outside from his hand. Okay. So right now get into that. In Wing Chun, if you go to talk to the old timer, probably most old timer right now is uh, passing away. Like old timer, like my Sifu generation, I'm 60 something years old. Those, if they are 80, 90 years old, who really learn Wing Chun, okay? Not learn the 1960 Wing Chun. They will talk about Cheong Kok. Sick why? That's the first thing. Chong kok meaning they're going to rob the angle, rob the angle in. Sick why? Meaning they have to eating your position. 
So if you go to Canton or anywhere else in Asia, you talk to the real Wing Chun practitioner, which is following the uh, Sifu, which is in the old, like uh, right now have really passed away and, and, and really old, 90 years old. You will heard about the Chong Kok and Sik Wai, meaning that you have to angle in, you have to rob the angle. Chong is robbing. Gok meaning angle. Sig why? Meaning you have to eating up his position. Chong Gok Sig why? So Chong Gok Sig why is about what? Shoot in. Manage his leg via an angle. Chong Gok Sig why? And then there is big pressurize pressurize big like big bow pressurize steps and then that is my son sticking the body or tip son my son sticking the body and then jit jit meaning like jit kundo jit intersect and then fong Fong meaning seal him off. So the idea of intercept is whatever he he strike, he strike, you want to intercept before he strike you. He, he gets you. Intercept, like your plane intercept his plane. Okay? Your jet intercept his uh his huge uh army plane. Or you use your missile to intercept his army plane. Seal is meaning whatever. If the plane is not fly yet, take off yet, you bomb the the, the, the the airway so that the plane cannot take off. So the older generations, the generation above me, who is much older, my seafood generation, they know all this thing. At least they know this term. And then there's another thing called Sao Yap San Guan. The hand get into the three gates. Sao Yap San Guan. Okay. So meaning Wing Chun have to have all this play. So San Guan meaning this is the first gate. The wrist is the first gate. This is the elbow is second gate. This uh, shoulder is the third gate. So Sao Yap San Guan. Sao, usually people say it's hand. It's not hand. It's your body has to get into the opponent's shoulder area. Sao Yap San Guan. Okay. It's not the, the hand. Say this is the shoulder area. This is the shoulder area. Okay. It's not my hand get in here. It's my body has to get in here. Say this is the second gate, which is my elbow gate. If I put my hand here, he still can be able to strike me. Only if my body is here, this hand will not be able to strike me. But I can strike him. I can manage his, his body. So, Chong Kok, Sik Wai, Big bow, hip san, jit, and then fong, and then sao yap san guan. That is the uniqueness of ancient Wing Chun, which is describing the shoot in and sticking fighting. So how is this in the real life? Let me share with you so that you know what is going on. Say it. This guy, this leg is this leg. This hand is this hand. Okay? And this hand is this hand. Okay? So his, uh, his leg is there. Now, maybe here a little bit, you can see better. Now he struck me with this. He struck me with this. He struck me with this hand. 
Okay, he strike me with this hand. Instead of I am moving away, strike him, or strike him here, standing here in the long fist range. Okay. One need to sao yap san guan. So what happened is one get right away in with this hand. It's like a guard. Okay, you can you guard him, you you receive him, you guard him, you guard in case you get hit, but you don't want to chase this hand. What you want is you want to go to the elb uh, the shoulder close. Okay? Now my body is sticking at this, this body. This hand is at this hand. So you strike me this way. Now you want to this leg is like this. You want to get into this close with the angle, not a straight. It's an angle. So, chong, chong kok, chong. Uh, okay, here, chong kok, chong kok. Okay, chong kok. Uh, robbing the angle, eating his positions. When I'm here in the Sam Guan, the third gate, I already uh, uh, eating his position and I am actually uh, 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 coming with an angle, robbing the angle in. And at this position, my body is really close to him already. So this have no chance to shoot me, to, to do a body shot. If I'm this far away, this is going to give me a body shot. So over here, my leg is between this front leg and back leg. Okay, my leg is there. So this big bow would push it, you. We actually pressure his uh, his uh, center axis already. My body stick at him. This hand is here. Okay, and when I come in with this, well, this is a strike already. Okay, I get in, I strike him. This, remember, you want to stick very close so you do not offer him a body shot. If you stand like that, you will get, if I do like that or I do like that, there's always a chance for a body shot. You want to get close to him, you slam this way. So this is a, 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 an example when the opponents punch with this hand where his uh, lead, lead leg is there okay so in this situations he strike me i go in right away strike him and of course i can go move in continuously sticking him pressure him and continuously in okay now when I get into here, I am jamming his uh, his uh, shoulder. That's called intercept. And because I am here, my body is pressuring him. This hand, this hand, because he's here so close, I have a tough time to to do a body shot because I need a body shot. I had to push him away to make room. But at this close. The opponent is this close. I have difficulties to do a body shot, not to mention that whoever come in is already here. The elbow anytime can smash you, walk and walk in. Okay? So you get in that way. So this is one type. Another type is If the opponent is like that, strike at you like way. Lead leg, lead leg. Then the same thing, you want to get into this his uh, his uh, his uh, elbow, uh, his uh, shoulder range. From here, you get in. Okay. Now, if his hand is very long much longer than you. You get in, 
right away this leg going up in penetrate between his leg and then the strike in there now if his hand is not that long you just go inside there you smash him not to mention that when you get in your knee is already within his knee see this one is you hitting his knee front leg like that you smash his knee here when you come into this if i want to struggle you walk through me on the other hand when the leg is here when the leg is here i move in okay i when i move in here i move in here this leg is already in between his leg a punch he's moving here he's going to cut inside okay so this is how Wing Chun play. Not standing here, hand techniques, not moving around here. If you fought with a, a, a long fist guy, like a Western boxing and so forth, you are moving here, you're dead. Because their footwork, their dynamic, and their power generations, you cannot handle that as a short strike, a weaker person, a smaller person. So in the ancient Wing Chun, if you like, if the, if the leg is there, you just go move in, continue in. If the leg is here, the same thing, you just move in. Or you crush him, crush him. There are many things. So with this, uh, Chong Kok robbing the, the angle. Segway eating the, uh, the, 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 uh, the, 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 the positions. This is a lower part of body attack. And of course, the knee can come in to strike. The trick can always be there. The sticking body, the tip sun, you are pressurizing him so that he doesn't have chance have the room to, to throw a body shot or something or changing because you want to nail him and your hand you can intercept him intercept those two part not go to the his center line go intercept whatever punching you intercept here so if the this hand cannot move back this hand cannot strike human is like that you want to strike with this hand this hand has to move in if you if you if you if you uh, intercept this one this have a tough time to to come out that's just human so that's how wing chun fight the issue in today is we are supposed to be proficient in all this what i just shared with you but we are not anymore Wing Chun is not proficient in this, and most doesn't know this exists. So you lost your short strike. You are fighting in other people's zone. There's other people's zone. You lost your body, your leg attack. You fight, you're running away from people. While the Wing Chun is, you come, that's fine, that in. I just go with angle, and once I get in, this manage his leg, the body stick at him so that he cannot throw body shot, and then I can continue to strike. And also, when I come in here, when I come in here, this strike, the strike is exactly the Gong Sao of the Xiu Lim Tao. This is a strike. The strike, he walk away, you strike him this way. You turn it, you rotate it and turn strike. It is never, it's only everything has to be sun punch.
and you, you, your sun punch can be used like this, like in the third section of the the third part of the the uh, the the, the eighteen fifty Shilin Tao. That's what it's for. I move in to slam the body already. It is this this type of punch. It never always has to be this sun punch in the angle. Forget about this. You have to be dynamic here and flow here. And of course, people will say, well, you know, if you get close, we'll headbutt. The hand is here. It slaps you away if it doesn't want to hurt you. Okay? And all the lock will be up there. And of course, the body is keeping moving. You don't stay there in the same position to perform your hand, your hand techniques. So, in, like in my old books, I already share all of those. Let me find you. If I can find any. In the beginning, Wing Chun. Take a snapshot. It says, closing in takedown is surpri surprising and stunning. Inward wrapping open up left and right corner. Inward wrapping open up left and right corner. Your line or attack of the opponent here, you're always coming in here. You're always coming in here. It doesn't go confront. It doesn't confront you here. It coming here in to the what the uh, to the the, the 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 shoulder. Same thing from outward. It it go to the shoulder. The three gate. One two three. This is that's why it called beginning Wing Chun. You need to know what is the short strike. And then as for the, the, the how to penetrate under there, it is in the restricting Wing Chun, the penetrations. How the arrow penetrating between these two legs. So it is there already, okay? So Wing Chun, in the ancient, never fight like this, never fight this and this. Every Wing Chun fight, it was either going in this way, or going in this way, or going in this way. It's always this. Always you have to have the leg attack, the body attack, the arm attack. Okay? So, like uh, you have the Keizhan, he, he, can, he cannot hit, headbutt you if you come in with the Keizhan, right shoot through him. Because this is, this is going to the throat and going to the eyes. Okay? So, in this range, there's a lot of techniques. For example, the Judo car, or Judo friends, or the restaurant friends. You fight them in close way, in the grappling, they have many techniques. Wing Chun have those techniques too. That's why I just share with you the basic one, the uh, big pole pressuring step, keep sun, the sticking at the body, the intercept and the ceiling. So, so if I go like that, the the first the first one, you know, with the with the leg here, I go this way because my 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 uh, my distance 
because my hand is here i seal this hand off if i stand like this at this distance i'm opening my uh my my rib here and i'm not sealing off so when you want to get in you need to seal him off seal this hand off but you don't want to run away from this so if, if i just go walk away like that i'm running away from that well he's going to chase me but over here i get in i seal him off i strike in him intercept with this hand strike with this hand while in the same time i seal him off the same thing is if i come in from here i strand him this hand this hand is far away there however what's selling all is my body my body my body stick to him pressurize him with my leg and so forth is sealing off his other hand say for example i shoot like that you come here this hand has been sealed off okay because this hand is intercept I have a tough time to get this and also you are in my center line here. I can struggle, but you just trust it in. Just walk through it. So this is what Wing Chun. Today we don't see it anymore. So not by Hendrik Santos' definition. By the reality, by the ancient writing, you don't have the ancient Wing Chun anymore. And you can go to say Canton or Asia asking those real old timer, have you heard about Sig Wai? Chong Kok? Big Po? Tip San? Chit Fong? Asking them. I'm sure Many will say, yes, I heard that. But what it is exactly when to see the full picture like today I show you? Very rare can tell you this. That's why it is called the art is lost. Now in America, today I share this with you and now it's broadcast to around the world. Bring this back. If you don't have this, you're just fighting this way, fighting this way, you don't have Wing Chun, sorry. Not by me, by ancient standard of the uniqueness of Wing Chun. And now you know this, you need to have, I'm sure there are a lot of smart people in Wing Chun today. Once you know the idea, my book is there and everything, you experiment with it. So it's expected that when Wing Chun fight here, it's like our judo friend or wrestling friend fighting at the, 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 the uh, grappling zone. They have their techniques. Wing Chun is a short strike. It have these techniques. And this is a long range. This is a short range. Short strike zone, long, long fist zone, short strike zone. One cannot keeping thinking about hand technique oh if uh he come this punch i'm going to this tan sao or whatever techniques or lap sao or if he come this i'm going to uh, uh elbow him uh headbutt him well don't talk about that why because those are techniques is not useful you can talk about that other people can talk about that too it doesn't present the uniqueness of Wing Chun. And let me share with you finally why people cannot do this today. It's because their body, like I share in past a week or so, the Sun Li, the body strength, the random instable moment, uh, recycling momentum, they, we never train in that. So you cannot get in. You want to uh, assume a stable position, like uh, you use a structure, and then I. you don't know how to recycle momentum under instable random position, like the grappler. When the grappler doing grappling, 
like the judoka doing grappling. There's no structure there at that closed place. Everything's dynamic. So in the past 120 years, we, what we can see is the laws of the Sun Li and the proper plum flower footwork, it left Wing Chun only with the hand techniques. And then the rest is up for everybody's imaginations. Today is Hendrix Wing Chun, tomorrow is Santo Wing Chun, but none of this is Wing Chun because they not never fight this here anymore. They never fight there anymore. So this is what I like to share with you. Okay, it is this serious if you look at it in terms of a culture that a culture is going extinct. 